In today's hyper-connected world, we rarely think about how data packets travel seamlessly across vast networks. Behind the scenes, sophisticated routing protocols ensure information finds its destination quickly and efficiently. One such protocol, Open Shortest Path First or OSPF, plays a pivotal role in modern internet routing. OSPF enables routers to communicate and build a map of the network. This map allows routers to determine the best path for data, ensuring fast communication. Imagine a network as a complex highway system. OSPF acts as the traffic management system. Without OSPF, networks would be chaotic, leading to delays and lost connections. OSPF is a link state routing protocol focusing on individual links. Routers share information about their directly connected links. This includes the link's status, bandwidth, and delay. Each router builds a synchronized map of the network. This shared knowledge is crucial for routing decisions. Routers calculate the shortest path to forward data. OSPF adapts dynamically to network changes. If a link fails, routers broadcast this to neighbors. This triggers a recalculation of shortest paths. To communicate effectively, routers running OSPF use a language known as the Link State Protocol, or LSP. LSP allows routers to share detailed information about their connected links, forming the basis of the network map. Think of LSP as a series of postcards that routers send to each other. Each postcard contains information about a specific link, such as its destination network, its cost, representing factors like bandwidth and delay, and the routers connected to it. When a router receives an LSP from a neighbor, it stores this information in its link state database, or LSDB. The LSDB acts as the router's repository of network topology information. Routers regularly exchange LSPs to keep their LSDBs synchronized, ensuring that all routers have a consistent view of the network. This constant exchange of LSPs might seem like a lot of overhead, but it's essential for OSPF's efficiency. By keeping their network maps up to date, routers can quickly adapt to changes in the network, preventing traffic disruptions and ensuring that data packets reach their destinations promptly. When a router running OSPF boots up, it needs to discover its neighboring routers and learn about the network topology. This process of network discovery is crucial for OSPF to function effectively. OSPF uses a two-step process to build its network map. Hello Packets and Link State Advertisements, or LSAs. Hello Packets are like greetings that routers send out periodically to announce their presence on the network. These packets contain basic information about the router, such as its router ID and the networks it's connected to. When two routers running OSPF detect each other's hello packets, they establish a neighbor relationship. This relationship is essential for exchanging more detailed link state information. Once a neighbor relationship is established, routers send out LSAs, which are the postcards containing detailed information about their connected links. These LSAs flood through the network, ensuring that all routers receive information about every link in the network. This flooding process allows each router to build a complete and synchronized map of the network topology, enabling them to make informed routing decisions. With a complete network map in hand, OSPF routers can now determine the shortest path to any destination in the network. To achieve this, OSPF employs a sophisticated algorithm known as Dijkstra's algorithm, also called the shortest path first, or SPF algorithm. Dijkstra's algorithm calculates the shortest path between a source router and all other routers in the network. It assigns a cost to each link, representing factors like bandwidth and delay. The algorithm then iteratively explores the network, starting from the source router, and calculates the cumulative cost to reach each destination router. The path with the lowest cumulative cost is deemed the shortest path. OSPF routers use this shortest path information to populate their routing tables, which dictate how data packets are forwarded through the network. Imagine a traveler planning a road trip. OSPF's SPF algorithm is like using a GPS navigation system that considers not only the distance, but also factors like traffic conditions and toll fees to suggest the fastest and most cost-effective route. As the internet transitions from IPv4 to IPv6, routing protocols must adapt to support the new addressing scheme. OSPF version 3 or OSPF v3 is an updated version of OSPF designed specifically for IPv6 networks. OSPF v3 introduces several enhancements to support the unique characteristics of IPv6. 
One significant change is the separation of routing from the underlying IP protocol. Unlike OSPF v2, which was tightly coupled with IPv4, OSPF v3 operates independently of the IP version, making it more flexible and adaptable to future IP versions. OSPF v3 also includes support for multiple instances of OSPF on a single link, allowing for more granular control over routing. This feature is particularly useful in scenarios where different departments or organizations share the same physical network infrastructure. Furthermore, OSPF v3 incorporates security enhancements to address vulnerabilities found in earlier versions. These enhancements include authentication mechanisms to verify the identity of neighboring routers and prevent unauthorized access to routing information. In networking, a null route is a special type of route that discards any traffic forwarded to it. While this might seem counterintuitive, null routes serve several crucial purposes in network management and security. One common use of null routes is to prevent traffic from being routed to unwanted destinations. For instance, if a network administrator wants to block access to a particular website or network, they can create a null route for that destination. Any traffic destined for the blocked website would be directed to the null route and discarded. Null routes also play a role in summarizing routing information. By creating a null route for a range of IP addresses, network administrators can reduce the size of routing tables and improve routing efficiency. Furthermore, null routes can enhance network security by preventing routing loops. A routing loop occurs when a data packet gets stuck in a continuous loop between routers, consuming network resources and potentially causing network congestion. Null routes can be strategically placed to break these loops and prevent them from disrupting network traffic. As networks grow in size and complexity, managing them efficiently becomes increasingly challenging. OSPF addresses this challenge by allowing network administrators to divide large networks into smaller, more manageable units called areas. An area is a logical grouping of routers and networks that share a common routing policy. By dividing a network into areas, network administrators can reduce the size of routing tables, minimize the impact of routing updates, and improve network convergence time. OSPF defines different types of routers based on their role in the network and their area membership. Area border routers, or ABRs, connect different areas within an OSPF domain, while autonomous system boundary routers, or ASBRs, connect the OSPF domain to external networks, such as the internet or other routing domains. This hierarchical organization allows network administrators to delegate routing responsibilities, improve network scalability, and enhance security by isolating sensitive network segments. OSPF is widely used in various networking scenarios, from small office networks to large enterprise networks and internet service providers. Its scalability, efficiency, and adaptability make it a preferred choice for routing traffic in complex network environments. One of the primary benefits of OSPF is its ability to provide fast and efficient routing. By calculating the shortest paths and adapting to network changes quickly, OSPF ensures that data packets reach their destinations with minimal delay and jitter, which is crucial for real-time applications like voice and video streaming. OSPF's support for areas and hierarchical network design allows network administrators to manage large and complex networks efficiently. By dividing the network into smaller, more manageable units, OSPF reduces the administrative burden and improves network stability. Furthermore, OSPF's security features, such as authentication and support for multiple instances, enhance network security by preventing unauthorized access to routing information and isolating sensitive network segments. OSPF has become an indispensable routing protocol in today's interconnected world. Its ability to efficiently route traffic, adapt to network changes, and scale to accommodate large networks makes it a cornerstone of modern networking. As we move towards an increasingly interconnected future, with billions of devices exchanging vast amounts of data, the importance of robust and efficient routing protocols like OSPF will only continue to grow. OSPF's evolution, with versions like OSPF v3 supporting IPv6 and enhanced security features, demonstrates its adaptability and relevance in the ever-changing landscape of networking. Understanding OSPF's inner workings, from the link state protocol to its shortest path-first algorithm, 
is essential for anyone involved in network design, implementation and management. By mastering OSPF, network professionals can ensure the smooth and reliable operation of networks, enabling seamless communication and connectivity in our increasingly digital world.